subscribe to our channel and help us to spread the word. January 9th, 2024. Love of Jesus 3. The Authority of Love. Jesus speaks to me with the strength of his love. His words are truth and life. Pray with the psalmist. My heart delights in the Lord. My strength is exalted for God. My mouth laughs at my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. He raises the poor from the dust, lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a throne of glory. He continues, There was a man in their synagogue with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, us Jesus of Nazareth? You come to destroy us. I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Yes, my life, you have come to end the power of the devil, to liberate me from his enslavements, to dispel the darkness and free me from the power of lies, giving me the freedom of the sons and daughters of God. Be silent and come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him violently and, with a loud cry, came out of him. My love, make the devil be silent with my prayer, with my trust in you, with my joy of knowing that I am redeemed by you, driving away the evil one decisively, not listening to his suggestions, lies, and empty venomous promises. Pray with Saint Josemara. My God, I love you, but teach me to love to know that you love me so much, my God, and not go crazy. Lord, may I have weight and measure in everything except in love. Amen. The love you have for me, the love you give me, the love I receive, the love I give you, liberates me from all slavery and fears. Thank you, my love. May I tie all the knots that bind my soul. You do it with the simplicity of your love. I ask you, Mother, to lead me to Jesus so that he may free me from evil. This brief guided meditation, we will continue with the theological commentary on the passage MK 1, 21-28. The passage from Mark 1, 21-28, narrates an episode in the ministry of Jesus at the synagogue in Capernaum, where he teaches with authority and performs a miracle by casting out an unclean spirit. This account reveals crucial aspects of Jesus' authority and his ability to confront and overcome spiritual forces of evil. In the initial verses, the audience's reaction to Jesus' teaching emphasizes his unique authority. Like the scribes, scribes Jesus does not cite human authorities but speaks with his own authority, revealing his direct connection to God as the ultimate source of truth and teaching. This contrast highlights the singularity of Jesus as the divine envoy with an authority that surpasses traditional interpretations of the scripture. The appearance of a man possessed by an unclean spirit intensifies the revelation of Jesus' authority. The evil spirit recognizes Jesus as the Holy One of God and questions whether he has come to destroy them before the appointed time. Declaration is significant because it reveals the supernatural knowledge of unclean spirits regarding Jesus' identity and messianic mission. Though they acknowledge his authority, they also fear the final judgment that Jesus The act of casting out the unclean spirit underscores Jesus' authority over spiritual forces of evil. Mere word is sufficient to free the possessed man, leaving the people astonished at this manifestation of divine power. The episode highlights the reality of spiritual confrontation in Jesus' ministry and his ability to overcome the forces of From a theological perspective, this passage emphasizes the divine authority of Jesus over all domains, both in teaching with authority and confronting demonic powers. His authority is not only rooted in the wisdom of his teachings, but also in his ability to liberate people from spiritual oppression. This event foreshadows the redemptive work of Jesus, where he not only imparts truth but also liberates humanity from the chains of sin and evil. Furthermore, the crowd's reaction of amazement and recognition of Jesus' authority raises the fundamental question of how we respond to the authority of Christ in our own lives. Do we recognize and submit to his authority in every aspect of our existence? This passage prompts us to reflect on the importance of acknowledging the singular authority of Jesus and allowing him to play a central role in our lives, guiding and liberating us from any malignant influence.